All right, let's get it right. I mean, hold on. One more thing, let me get a chair. Oh, perfect. Oh, I thought that was a bug. All right, story time. All right, so I've been getting a lot and lots and lots, lots of views on my uh, recent uh, YouTube shorts about the police showing up to my house, like the last, I wanna say like six, seven days straight. So let me tell y'all what's been going on since uh, I moved out here. So when I first moved out here uh, from Detroit, Michigan, I moved out here in December, I wanna say, and the police have been very, uh, I want to say, I ran into them, I want to say the first two weeks of living out here. I don't know why, but it was like a random run in. It was crazy. So um, after that, you know, time go by, I don't, we really no problems for real. I'm just having problems with the people in town because the people in town never really saw black people before. Like it's only three black people out here, it's me, somebody that's like Kenyan and like I think a Somalian or something I don't really know like I forgot what he had said it's not really relevant to the story so it's not really something I should have thought of anyway so a few months go by and I get my brand new car 2020 Dodge Charger Very beautiful, I know. Loud, beautiful, it's amazing. So when I first buy the car, when I first purchased the car, I wanna say late February, early March, like literally as soon as I purchased the car, as soon as I pulled out the parking lot, like I'm feeling good. You know, you gotta play your music. You know, you feeling good. You got a new car, this car is beautiful. Playing my music. I'm not even speeding. The speed limit said 45. So I'm I'm speeding up a little bit. I'm probably going like 40, going on my way to 45. But the police officer pulled me over. The state trooper pulled me over. Pay attention. This one state trooper. Pay attention to this one state trooper. So the state trooper pulled me over. Pulled me over. Uh, what he say? He was like license registration insurance. I'm like honest. I'm like, what do I do? It's like, yeah, you were speeding. I'm like, how am I speeding if I'm not even at 45 yet? And he was like, your window tent is two, is below the legal limit. He didn't even check. He said it's below the legal limit, so um, it's against the law. And I'm like, I literally just purchased this car. Like, you saw me pull out the lot with the car. I just purchased it not even five minutes ago. Then he said, it's an illegal car. You got to take it back or get the window tent removed off. It's illegal. And he was just naming a lot of BS. Then he was like, he was like, you just can't drive the car home. But you know me, I don't care, bro. I don't care. As soon as he pulled off, I gave it like 30 seconds. Hop back in, skirt. Pulled off, went, went, my, went by my business, you feel me? So I get home, time go by. I want to say like a couple days go by. I drove my car again, the same exact police officer pulled me over. Said the same exact thing, bro. Speed and window tint. Gave me another ticket. All right, so another few days go by. Mind y'all said a few days, few days, another few days go by. My girlfriend drives my car to the gas station, put gas in it. So same exact police officer, state trooper followed us, but this time, he saw that my girlfriend was driving a car and he saw her pumping gas. So he pulled into the same exact gas station, turned his lights on, pulled somebody else's car over, like parked behind him. Didn't even get out the car. Literally, as soon as we pulled off, turned his lights off, followed us, but he took the main street, we took the side street, but we got away because she was driving. So March 9th came, I drove to uh, this town like 50 minutes away to go to Walmart, got some stuff, nighttime. He pulled me over again. He took me to jail. I spent the night in jail. Da da da. Time go by. So after that, I get two more uh, tickets with the state troopers. I get two tickets of five days because window ten. He just started naming some BS. So this is where the story time come in. So out the blue, random. I hear a knock on my door. I ran into the fire escape part because I'm like, if they bust in this house, I got at least 10, 15 seconds to run somewhere. 
So um, in the fire escape, I'm hiding literally. So they leave, I look out the window, I'm like, okay, we good. Next day they come again. That's when I recorded the next video. And that's when they started talking. And I'm like, oh, oh bro. Like in my head, I'm like, I'm like, if I walk to the door, I know I'm gonna mess up. I know something in me is gonna do something stupid and I'm gonna mess up. So I'm not gonna walk to the door first. I'm gonna walk out to the window first and then I'm gonna walk to the door. As soon as I got to the door, y'all heard her? Come on. So she, after she said, I, actually, I was in the middle of a Twitch before that, literally in the middle of a Twitch reacting to some music. So go follow me, Gritty Lucas TV, by the way. So um, after I turned it off, she was like, we know you're in there. Just open the door. I only take 30 seconds. Bro, I am black in Minnesota. What don't y'all get, bro? What don't y'all get? I'm black in Minnesota. I'm scared. I'm scared for my dearest life. Come on, now. So... That happened. <laughs> so she left after that. So now I'm paranoid. And like, they back, like, the way, what they did, they drove forward. And when they drove forward, they parked, they, like, they made a U turn. So it's like, if any car pull in, they're not gonna see the shares until, like, they actually park. You can't walk out the door unless the, you see the sheriffs, they see you. So you seeing the sheriffs see you while they seeing you and you see them. So y'all seeing each other. So y'all gonna run and bump into each other. So here come me being blow, walking down the stairs like this. Let me show y'all. I got my duffel bag. I walk down the stairs, turn the corner just like this. I put that on my life. That's how I turned the corner. I look, I'm like, oh man. I think they saw me, but I'm probably the only person that knows three exits in this building. So instead of going out where the parking lot is at, I walk through the front where the park is at and I'm gone. So, I called the number finally. I ain't gonna lie, I fold it. <laughs> I fold it. I don't care. I'm scared. So I called the number. I was like, yeah, I'm, I've been out of town lately. Like, um, my girlfriend's been here. You know, um, she's been telling me you guys have been leaving notes on our door. What's going on? Like, I put my pop smoke voice, voice on. Like, I'm not scared. Like, I'm on tip. Like, I'm on, I'm on whatever time y'all on, basically. That's the pop smoke voice I put on. So they like, what's your girlfriend's name? I'm like, I tell them, they like, oh, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the person that lived with her. Instantly, my heart dropped. I'm not going to lie. I'm terrified. My first thought was pack and just go home. So I tell them my name. They like, no, we're not looking for you either. Then they say they looking for a certain name. I'm not going to say her name. And I'm like, no, it's just me, my girlfriend, my son. She like, oh, okay, well, that's not what we're looking for. Is there another place? So my neighbor was like, yeah, the pig, bro. My neighbor looked like dirty jesus like a, a, a hobo in a way a bum so he like yeah the pigs you know they was knocking at your door i'm like yeah i know i just called them they said they wasn't looking for me they was looking for it. then i said the name he was like yeah that's the people that stayed there before you like the lady that stayed there before you um she used to live there that's probably why so yeah they wasn't looking for me <laughs> But the sheriff was like, why should we be looking for you when I called? I'm like, because I got ticket, two tickets, like $750 that I haven't even paid for yet. Like, come on. <laughs> it's been three months and I ain't paid for it. Like, y'all, this is a reason. Y'all want y'all money and I'm black. And she's like, why you ain't open the door? It only, this could have been resolved like long ago. Bro, I am black in Minnesota. What don't you get?